Welcome back to VBTeacher.com for section 4 of the breakout project. In this part we will add some bricks to the project so that we can knock them out with our ball. We hope you enjoy the fun. Welcome back to the breakout project. Um, it's about time that we start adding some bricks to our project and the bricks are the things of course that the ball has to break to win the game. Um, Adding some bricks here will first inv involve adding a new button to the screen. So we'll stop and we'll open up the toolbox and grab a button. Um, nice big one. And uh, now let's set a few properties of the button. Uh, the text doesn't need, does not need to be there, but the name can be brick. And the background color can be, oh, a nice bright green would be good. Now, um, the interaction between the ball and the brick is one that involves detecting collisions between the ball and the brick. And this is actually a lot more complicated than the, the paddle on the bottom because the brick has four sides. And we also have to check all the things we check on the, on the paddle. Down in the code, now we can begin by creating a new private sub just so that we don't have a huge long pile of code in, in the uh, timer tick event. We're going to put this outside just partly because it's so long. Private sub check brick and we'll pass it the name of the brick as a button and we'll also pass it the name of the ball as another button. And by doing that, then we can send it any ball and any brick, and it will check whatever we pass. Now, to get that, we'll, for our testing anyway, we'll add a line here that just simply says check brick, and then brick and ball. Okay, and there's that. Um, now, uh, down here in this routine we have to think about our model and uh, let's look at our model for the collision between a ball and a brick. Uh, here we see a, a red ball about to collide with the bottom edge of a green brick up here and as you can see there's a number of things that have to be true to detect this collision. First the velocity needs to be upwards which is a V speed smaller than zero. Secondly, the uh, center, of the center of the ball needs to be between the left and the right side of the brick. We have to check for that. Uh, thirdly, we have to make sure the top of the ball is smaller than the bottom edge of the brick and that the bottom of the ball is bigger than the bottom edge of the brick, uh, thus guaranteeing that partly on and partly off situation that we like to have when we check for a brick hitting, uh, ball hitting a brick. So that's the model. Uh, the first thing we're going to calculate is the, the uh, horizontal center of the ball simply because that's something we can use several times throughout this procedure. So dim the horizontal center C as single equals the ball left plus the ball width over 2 and that will be the horizontal center of the ball. Now um, the next thing we want to look at is to start building our if-then statement and we'll put the v-speed in first Uh, this will be check the bottom of the brick. So we'll say if V speed is less than zero and C, okay, now we're checking the center of the brick. C is greater than the center of the brick is to the right of brick left and C is greater than brick left and C is less than brick right and then we'll break the line. Now we have to check for the, uh, the top and the bottom of the ball. Um, the ball top has to be smaller than the brick bottom. Ball top is smaller than the brick bottom so it's above it and the ball bottom has to be greater than the brick bottom then okay 
So then we have to reverse the direction of the ball. And so what we'll do here is v speed equals minus v speed. And that will do it. Now we need to test it. We've called it. We've checked it for the five conditions we have to test it for. Now we're going to put the ball just below the bottom edge of the brick and set the uh, brick set the ball so it's moving upwards straight up and we'll run it and see how it comes out. And it worked just beautifully. Bounced right off the bottom edge of the brick. So that was a successful test even though I lost the game immediately. No problem. Now, here we go. Um check the top of the brick. Okay, we're going to just copy this line because it has a lot in common with the next line here. And so we'll paste that down there. Now, obviously that if we um, if we have this on the top, we'll still have the same conditions on the left and the right stuff, but the up and down stuff changes. So the first thing is the V speed has to be greater than zero. So we'll change this to V speed greater than zero. And the left and right stuff is next, and that does not change. Third, the ball top. Actually, now we have to look at the bottom of the ball. The bottom of the ball has to be bigger than the brick top. And the bottom of the, the top of the ball has to be smaller than the brick top. And if that's all true, then we bounce it off of the top of the brick. So once again, let's set it up for a test. This time we put the put the uh, ball above and change the direction of this to a positive 2. And run the test. And it'll bounce like that forever because we've got it trapped between the top of the screen and the top of the brick. So that that'll never finish, so that works fine. So now the bottom and the top of the brick both work just great. Let's go back into the code and look at the next set of stuff. We've got to do now the left and the right side. Uh, the model is a little different, but similar in most ways. Uh, here the horizontal speed uh, for the left edge of the brick. The left edge, the horizontal speed has to be greater than zero and that will mean it's moving to the right and the vertical distance has to be uh, the, the center of the ball has to be below the top and above the bottom and finally the front edge of the brick the right side has to be on top of the brick and the left side of the ball has to be to the left of the brick and when that's all true then we need to bounce the brick off the left side now we do need to refigure our center because now it's instead of a horizontal center it's a vertical center so we'll just do a c equals ball dot top plus ball dot height over two and next check the um, left side of the brick and this is very similar in every respect five conditions to check just a little different we have to be very careful so looking at this um, picture now um, Looking at this left side picture, we see that uh, the first thing we have to do is h speed greater than zero. So if h speed is greater than zero and wrong picture and the uh, the center is bigger than the brick top. and C is smaller than the brick bottom and we'll split it here now we have to check for the left and the right sides of the thing and so now we want to have the ball right is a bigger number than the brick left the ball right is a bigger number than the brick left so ball right is bigger than the brick left and ball left is a smaller number than the brick left then then we can horizontally reverse it h speed equals minus h speed and we can go on and now we'll do the right side similarly we'll check them both at the end check the 
right side of the brick. We'll modify that. Now this would have to have the speed going the other direction, so h speed smaller than 0. The next two are the vertical, and they'll be the same. And finally, we need to have the left side of the ball is smaller than the right side of the brick. And the right side of the ball is bigger than the right side of the brick. Then the horizontal speed equals minus the horizontal speed. Okay. And save it. Now we'll test it. We're going to put the brick on the left side and give it a, a right hand motion. So here we go. On the right hand side we have 0 for the V speed and positive 2 for the H speed. We'll run our test on the left side and see that it bounces OK. And there it is, bouncing back and forth between the wall. That worked. And now we'll put the uh, negative H speed and move the ball over to the left side and check out that side. And there we go. And there we go. So it's bouncing off of all four sides properly. Now let's give it a diagonal speed and do a quick check on the whole thing. And so now we'll give it a, oh, a little bit of each. And run it, and it should now play a little bit. And I blew it already. We'll run it again. There we go. Up the left side, off the top, off the left side, off the bottom, off the top. It looks like every side is bouncing off correctly. We'll let it lose, and we lose. Okay, so there is, there is the piece now that installed the, the first brick check into our breakout program. And uh, I'll let you play with that for a while, and we'll go on to the next section in a few minutes. Thanks.